take care when visiting Lake Champlain. A lake monster might just swim beneath your boat. Lake Champlain is the largest lake of the Adondurac Mountains, a range in northern New York. The freshwater lake is an excellent spot for fishing and boating. Visitors to the area can also enjoy the Lake Champlain ferries that take travelers from Burlington to Port Kent, walk or ride the Burlington bike path, or visit the local museums. That said, visitors to the lake may want to keep an eye out when on the water. They may just see Champ, the mysterious monster of Lake Champlain. The Abenaki and the Iroquois have long spoken of a creature said to live in the lake. In accounts, it is described as a large serpent with horns or simply an enormous snake. It was warned not to disturb the water or bother the creature, which they called Jitaskog. Additional sightings of the creature began to pop up in the 1800s. A local newspaper on Saturday, July 24, 1819, ran a story about a local captain's run-in with the creature on Bulwaga Bay the previous week. The captain is said to have seen a dark monster rising out of the water. It was said to have been over 187 feet long and able to rear up more than 15 feet. He claimed that its head looked like that of a seahorse and that it had three teeth and eyes that looked like, quote, a peeled onion. There was supposedly a white star on its forehead and, quote, a belt of red around the neck. A surprising amount of detail was recorded given that the sighting was from over 200 feet away. The next great sighting came a few years later on in 1873. The New York Times reported that a group of railroad workers had seen an enormous silver serpent in the lake. The workers never made contact, only seeing the creature from shore. A few months later, the local sheriff reported seeing an enormous water serpent that he said had to have been at least 30 feet long. Then, a month later, a steamship was ferrying passengers when it hit something in the water. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to nearly topple the boat. Group sightings of the creature were not uncommon. In 1945, a group of passengers aboard the SS Ticonderoga reportedly saw a creature swimming in the lake. Further details on this sighting were not recorded, but by 1992, there were over 180 reported sightings of the Lake Champlain monster, lovingly referred to as Champ. So what do all of these sightings tell us? Stories by themselves are usually not enough to convince people that a monster is real. That said, there has been some interesting evidence put forth in favor of Champ's existence. A pair of fishermen in 2005 claimed to have caught photographic evidence of the creature. Depending on how you look at the images, you could say that you are seeing something resembling a plesiosaur, or maybe an eel. Retired forensic image analysts reportedly reviewed the images and could not say what exactly they were looking at, but that it seemed to be authentic and undoctored. Whatever it was. In the early 2000s, the Discovery Channel and Fauna Communications Research Institute recorded sounds in the lake that sounded similar to that of a beluga whale or dolphin, which, of course, do not live in the lake. So what could have created the noises? All this to say, what exactly is Champ? Some believe Champ to be an oversized garfish, like lake sturgeon, which live in Lake Champlain even now. Others hold on to the belief that Champ is a true lake monster, like the Loch Ness Monster. But until concrete evidence of a monster comes forward, we can only enjoy the stories of this shy, interesting creature haunting Lake Champlain. Thank you for listening to tonight's story. Tune back in next week as we dive into the world of cryptids, extraterrestrials, and the great unknown. Good night. <laughs>